Welcome back to Aquatico. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on this uh, second episode of Aquatico. So thank you very much for your support on the first one. I, uh, I'm going to continue this uh, series as long as it makes sense, as long as there's an interest. So you know the drill. Express your interest if you think there is an interest in continuing it. And then I'll be uh, reviewing it and uh, figure out if it's this game or if it's another game that we'll be creating content for here on the channel. So thank you very much for the support on the first episode. What we're going to do today, well, first of all, we're going to get, jump up back up to two speed. We might even go to three speed at some point. Now, I have an idea because, as I mentioned last time, uh, everything seems to revolve around money, like credits. Like, that's how the world go, go around. We do want sort of what we're preparing to is we have a lot more oil. And now we want to increase our uh, fuel refinery. We can't really increase the fuel refinery because if you look at drones, we only have three idle drones. So we need more drones in order to expand our fuel production, in order to add more plastic, in order to get more drones. Oh, wait a minute, it's a loop. Well, these ones cost money, not a lot of money, but uh, I think it's it's most important for us to start uh, to make sure that we get enough drone factories. We got research completed and let's get over here to hook that up. And that is really the most important thing, is make sure that we have an ample supply of drones, because that's kind of what drives everything. What we are working on here, we're just finishing up some of the stuff we have left behind. We had a deco banner, we don't want it, but I'm going to forget it anyway. Uh, we are gathering prosperity, uh, energy production. Energy production might be okay. I think this one is... Or we could also just go dec decorative plant. Seriously? A street lamp. Iron mine, and then after the Iron Man, we can get the train company. I have uh, ideas about this because this one allows us to automatically ship, send off, or sell stuff that we don't want, and that can actually be hugely effective if we find something we we have a lot of that we can then uh, donate. I think we'll take uh, this one is ten percent for gatherers near sponge collectors. Gatherers near sponge collectors. I think we have a gatherer near sponge collector, and those seem to be. Oh dear, the icons. That is the sponge collector near the gatherer. So if we want to make another one, uh, did we also get another sponge collector? That's another sponge collector. So we, oh, we don't even have those. We could make another gatherer nearby. Not because we particularly need it, but you know, it might be nice to, I think that's the gatherer's place. Ah, 40 credits. Look at that credit. Oh, look at also our, our, how did that happen? How did our electricity just go out? Oh, well. Um, I don't think we want to turn off our oxygen generator. So let's instead get some more. And let's see. Title. And again, it's credits. It's always credits. No matter what, it's always credits. We look. Oh, right. Yes, of course, this one. Yeah, I'm going to be pausing you for a little bit. And then we get more wind turbines up here. That is uh, probably the most reasonable thing we can do. Let's make them really close here. And there. That's all we can do. And then we get... The pipe. I wonder if we can get the pipe in here. Really? There we go. No, not that one. There we go. That looks good. And that will get us the uh, two more. And these can also they have these approximately boost forty percent. And that means we can't really buff them any further. I do think I want one more of those, but I don't know. They don't have any upkeep. Oh, well, they do have a little bit of money upkeep. Eh. Well, and then you can be uh, turned on again. I mean, if it's running at 94%, then it's just fine. Uh, what about these? This one, optimization, Sea Hunter, tools. And this one would be a good candidate, but not really yet. Because, again... Our main... Ooh, idle drones. We actually added a few more idle drones. So that means we can then hit this expand. Uh, what is that? Uh, said you three people to assist. That's great because... Not that it helps us in all our industry, but it does help us in terms of getting more money because that gives us more people to pay taxes. We go up here and we have now seven families. I have all these here. We need to put on the insulation in all the houses. There we go. Pet feeders is just... It, it just blows me away that that's... That's the thing. Um... What? That just lowers the lowers the fuel upkeep per resident by one. So it's basically that this is totally not worth it, right? For for spending credits and plastic, it's just one of those things. I these days insulating houses just seems like a really good idea. Now this one has now been updated and we use more. That means we now produce 
we are consuming a little bit more of uh, the crude oil and we now have a nice surplus of fuel that surplus of fuel is going to go in here to one of the plastic another one of the plastic factories we're going to be simply making a million plastic factories we should have been throwing more plastic into the ocean when we had the time and that's the plastic factory which of course requires credits do you see a pattern well we're going to be selling stuff here we just need to find something we can sell and and one of the problems we see here is that we just don't have a lot of things that are are in vast quantities so if we start selling our food oof, i'm just getting a little bit uh, worried about it um but you know money we need money uh you know what actually i don't want this i don't think sponges that's where to we want to build we are going to build we're going to sell the the food part even though we just got a few more extra people in that we uh, want to feed but i just cannot live without getting as much as possible here all right so that gives us another opportunity to get a plastic factory which will be uh built exactly like the other ones i think i put in like three between them yeah three i will do that again like consistency and stuff that's good and that uh, will need a pipe connection there that is the pipe connection that's going to be awesome this one needs to be optimized as well um, the most important is production boost so that we get up to six drones so now we're producing two drones per month that should be really good but we need more stuff we were looking at that gathering place if we get another gatherer place we can build it next to this location then it'll get a bonus so let's do that uh, the... here I will get uh, do I want that? no you know production boost on these two that will get us a lot more power Not that we, oops, that we don't need but we will have it did we also get something, some some decor thing in here? Uh, beautification. Yeah, we got a decoration banner. We'll put some of these here. I am sure that's going to be out. So what this does is it gets them some... This is our banner. Uh, it gets plus 40 environmental points. And then we, if we look at the people here, uh, they should be happy about everything here. Uh, the housing. Housing is 99, and that's probably... It, it's probably affected by whether the environment is nice and has all the amenities that they want. Uh, these are the two things we're building. And at this point, we also have money for another research. What should we get? Transport fever gets us faster drones. That might be nice. Uh, energy production could have got used that a bit before. Those are just like buffs that are nice to get. Getting an iron mine would be amazing. That kind of unlocks the next tier with Iron Mine, go into Tool Factory and Trade Company. We'll be going for the Trade Company, I think. That takes all of our money again. What I want to do is, I'm pretty sure we built a... Oh, you can get upgrades, yeah? Uh, what about our situation here? No, we're still on five, and we'll be using one here and one there. So, uh, didn't we get another location that was a depot, but didn't we get another... Um, yeah, there. Sponge Collector. Ooh, this one needs upgrades, though. Uh, there and there. Sponge collector, so... No, that was not it. Ah, I wanted the fisherman's hut and a sea hunter lodge. I want to build those two, and next to each other as well. Let's see where they are. Fisherman's hut, and that's 50 credits, and a sea hunter lodge, that's another 130. Because my intention is that I'm going to use the sea hunter lodge to generate... Uh, to generate money from. Because if we look at sharks, they actually pay pretty well, 2.5 per shark. And if we, for example, look at the shark hunter here, and uh, this one is producing 240 and it can even go up and produce 480 on a yearly basis. So if we have two of those, then we certainly have enough sharks. And who the hell would want to buy sharks? I don't know. I don't want to buy sharks. Well, buy sharks maybe, but not eat them. Definitely not. I think that's an Icelandic thing. So all we need now is wait for some credits and then be able to build those as a sort of a money-making scheme here. On second thought, if we look at this uh, from a different perspective, oh, hold on, we actually don't have oxygen. Um, I could do like expansion here, but then we're gonna drop down on oxygen. So we only have one oxygen factory. And, uh, and then the big question is, where the hell is that oxygen factory? Things just look so identical here. Uh, I will boost the oxygen factory. That's 120, it's not enough. That's still not enough. Damn, because this, the under large takes 30. Um, there, now it takes 60. So we're good, we're good. Low number of drones. Yeah, I know. We have a low number of drones. That means going out and grabbing stuff is just... Oh, look at these. Uh, it's not really an option. And getting a Sea Hunter Lodge upgraded is actually cheaper 
to do an expansion than to build a separate one. They will take the same amount of drones, but here if I do an expansion, then it will already have those impacts here. So that is definitely why we want to do that. Uh, now the next part is looking at our research. We got the iron mine, and I don't really know if it iron mine is the right thing to do right now. Uh, what I'd like to do is the trade company, but I also just feel like the trade company might be a little bit premature because I... We just don't have the support for this uh, trade company just yet. And in order for us to do the trade company, we'd have to have some kind of thing here that is in a surplus. And we don't actually have things that are surplus in surplus. And we have a lot of things here that definitely need more expansion, more building radius and more production. I can't do the expansion, both because I don't have the money and also because... Let's actually just bump it up to... Oh, speed four. That might be a little bit aggressive. Uh, oops. There. Oh, four, speed four. We're going to be playing on speed four because it really is all about just accruing the money and then uh, then using that for uh, for our progress. But we do need more sponges uh, because we are getting more plastic. And for the plastic, we also need to make sure that this gets upgraded. All the other ones are up, whoop, 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 oh, whoop, upgraded as much as they can, except for the new one. So that is, we are down to 53, but if I do that, then we're down, have 94, so we can actually build one more plastic factory with what we have available. Oh, we get some free plastic. I love that. And there, and there. So we get free plastic, except if we are being honest, and uh, as I upgrade this, we won't be able to build another plastic factory. So that's actually okay. This requires tools that we don't have, this requires tools that we don't have, and this one requires a little more credit, as usual. We have this one again, but at this point, I am... I'm cautious about what we can actually sell here and still retain some kind of meaningful uh, support for our colony. We might just give it a little bit of a wait because, oh, we are actually already up to five because all of these are happy. Oh, this one did not get optimization. I want to get this one first. There. So now we have a lot of plastic. One, two, three of those type 540. We are going to be consuming, oh, what is this? Uh, 200 sponge per yes so the, how much sponge does this actually produce we don't know why does it not say the sponge oh the no it doesn't say how much it produces interesting um what about here we're down to four that sucks but i, I kind of have to do this because we want to get more sponges we really you can see us Sponges here are decreasing also with three plastic factories fully upgraded then it's going to start draining that quite significantly Right, so we're uh, we're okay as it is right now, but we just don't have enough fuel. We can uh, we'll have to make another fuel plant before we can make another plastic plant. I don't think I would want more than four of these drone factories at this point. Uh, this is basically if we can keep the drone factories going, then we can get more uh, more things online. What we might want to do is look at an iron factory. For nothing else, just the idea of making an iron factory is enticing. Um, this is working, yeah. And again, I think we need to keep science iron mine. We get a tools factory, that means we can start doing all the tools upgrades, which is again going to be like extremely expensive. On the other hand, we can also just look at if you get tools, small statue, furniture, and then we can get an engineer income tax. No idea if that's how much it gets. One credit per engineer. And if we look at them, we have 10 engineers. So it's going to be like 10 per month. That is not a lot of money, but it's it. we're desperate, right? It looks like plastic is actually doing really, really well. So let's uh, start selling our plastic. I think that's uh, going to be a sound move here. Minus 200 plastic. That's also selling at a good price. So... Uh, Plastic is our cell thing. I noticed that these two, or this one, is not actually expanded. So with a simple plus one expansion here, uh, then we get a lot more fuel. Look at that. And what do we need with fuel? Well, anytime we have fuel, it just means more plastic. I know, I know, I know. You might think it's a bit extreme, but uh, I know how, pla how critical plastic is. And uh, it just needs to litter the, the floor here with pla more plastic. There we go. So that will be another upgrade. These are all fully upgraded to the point where we can. And uh, we have uh, lots of money for, for one reason. Trade company, I'm just thinking, I... I'll build it, we'll, we'll get that one. And then we can start working towards income tax as well. And energy budgeting might be a thing. And we still have a lot of money. That's very nice for once that we have a little bit of money. Uh, what is that going to be used for? That is going to be used for starting up an iron mine. There. 
we don't have anything to use the iron mine for. Uh, this is where we need the overlay because that will be... If we place it inside this area, then it'll be working at 100%. So let's do that. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll build it here. There. Like that. Now that is going to need a line up here, which means that we, it's going to be very expensive in this line here. And I'm going to be making it in this one. And that will be going... There. Good. So that's now connected and it'll be getting that one. I will get this out because that's annoying to look at. What I also want to do is, since we're going to be making some more industry up here, let's uh, make a depot as well in this location. Right, so that we have some kind of depot nearby. We have one there, 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 and then we'll build another one up here that'll sort of service that area up in this location. Research completed, and we almost have enough uh, money. What was that actually, the research we completed? Oh, that's the tool factory. All right, so before we get the next one, let's uh, actually see if we can squeeze in the tool factory. We also don't have the basic goods, which is something that is starting to be required, I am imagining. This is the trade company. Uh, the, we will be smashing it in here. It is pretty damn big uh there should be room for them to go around so smash the trade company in what about the fast food we don't have any restaurants what are they eating actually i don't know buying things fashion house clothes shop yeah that one is still something that is on our to-do list um i i'm just worried that as soon as we build it they will start demanding it and uh, I just don't want to use credits, electricity, and plastic just for something. So I'm waiting until they start complaining about not they complain about not having nice plastic clothes. Then uh, then we'll deal with that at that time. This one has all everything, so it just needs a drone to build. This is coming home soon. Um, once we have the mine, oh, why is it not connected? Oh, that's why it's not connected. Good thing once we have this one it is all about the tool factory so if we can get this one up to a point where we can get the next research uh do we want to get the next research first i think we want the next research which will be the tool factory because the iron mine in and of itself is going to be completely useless so uh there we go that is here tools factory now that is done then let's make sure that this one works as a little bit better Ooh, that used a lot of our fuel i was kind of hoping we would be able to yeah, to use that fuel for for another plastic fact. Oh, right, this one can also be optimized. We just built that one. So that is yet another thing, and we can then go in here. Plastic is not doing so great anymore, but hey, we find something else now. We have lots of mucils, that's fine. Uh, plastic, stone, we're not going to take stone because we are mining. Only The only stone we get is what we find out in the world. So if we start selling that, then we just don't have any options left. So we'll be going up here. Uh, this will get a production boost because if nothing else we can always sell iron uh, this is going to be boosted here I cannot upgrade because I don't have enough fuel uh, these cannot be upgraded right no they can't be upgraded so I am unable to click that button because that would require 48 more and that would be more than what we have available so no matter what how we twist and turn this I'm just going to take a look at this yeah okay that will be the third oil deposit there if needed so we're going to need another oil refinery in order for us to do it Boost environmental points okay um start beautification buildings uh, inside your dome to increase environmental points um yeah okay but I, that was like triggered as soon as this one came in now the what how this works is we could do four trade deals basically say hey if plastic is more than 1,000, then sell it. If, I don't know, what else could be something we'd sell? Mutuals, uh, then we'd sell it if it's more than 1,000. If, um, uh, sh oops, plus two people, nice. Uh, more income tax. Sharks, more than 500. I don't know how many. Maybe more than 200. I mean, there are mutuals also more than 200, I guess. Now we have to be careful about food because I'm selling food and maybe this one will just be 500. There, five. Oh, that's a little bit too many fives. Anything else we would want to sort of sell if we uh, iron? I don't know. If we have more than more than 500 iron, then sell it. Now I have nine, so that's not really happening. But this is the point, uh, how it works. It trade deal capacity. It can sell 150 stuff per month. 
and maybe that'll work maybe that's uh, and the trade period is then counting up and then it'll check what we have of any of these oh oh oh, oh, oh there we go <laughs> oh that was close we did not want to buy 500 iron Ooh. okay beautification points uh do we have anything that's we only have this one so i don't know maybe that was just like a random notification it's gone now anyway so we don't care what we are going to need is we are going to need another one of the here so that means first of all we are going to i think Yes, we do need an extra oxygen production facility. Uh, that's going to be one of the first ones, I would hope. Kind of important thing, oxygen generator. Uh, let's make it... It You need to be connected? Yeah, you need to be connected. So I'll build you... I don't know. Hmm, that's a bad place. Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll put you here. And then get you connected. The pipeline's leaking. That's the first time we see that. Uh, there. And... Where is it? Click. Click. And then that's that's just it. It's it's really weird to have that mechanic in my opinion because it doesn't do anything. Oh no! Click at the bottom, not the top. And this is like a massive disaster. There we go. All right. So we are starting by making an extra uh, an extra oxygen factory so that we can get a buffer here. Then we are. Oh, what's our drone situation? Six. Yeah. Um, then we can make another Sea Hunter Lodge together with another gathering uh, fisherman's hut. We'll build those up here so that they're, they're kind of collected in one location. Let's uh, get the... Oh, that's over here. Uh, I am refraining from using the underwater field because they cost a lot of credits. Uh, that is just... We, we don't want to spend credits on food. Uh, so, no thanks. Sea Hunter Lodge. I'll build it here. And the Sea Hunter... No, that's not... This is the Sea Hunter Lodge. There. So with these two next to each other, that will be fine. Maybe we will even build a dip depot here uh, now that we have more stuff. I would also like to get, since this was a gathering place, a sponge collector, then we should get a gathering place nearby. Uh, just really buffing up our food production at this area. Ooh, was that a bad move? Uh, I maybe it was. But that's one, two, three, four drones that we are now allocating, plus this one. Uh, let's see, production boost, production boost is free stuff. Optimization is more likely. Optimization right now, but if we end up needing it, then we can do the other part. All right, so this is uh, looking good. We have actually, I think we got the tool factory. Now apparently we want a small statue in order to work our way towards income tax and stuff like that. This one says tool factory in proximity to iron mine. That absolutely has to happen. Uh, we'll get a small statue. Um, this one cannot do expansion because if we do expansion, we are going to be overusing our fuel. And I'd like to get the fuel, but more than that, I'd like to get some uh, a tool factory going because that will sort of unlock new and exciting things. So let's make a tool factory right there. Is that also connected? It is also connected. So that also needs a pipeline because it needs electricity would be my assumption. There we go. Um, let's have a look at what it requires. The tool factory. Okay, so that requires credits, plastic. Uh, oh, this requires engineers, not the uh, drones. That's nice. Uh, and fuel. That's, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's fuel, you say. Fuel, you say. Oh, no. That means we actually need a fuel refinery. Let's uh, build that. Yeah. Let's build it here. It's probably fine. That one and then we need to make sure that gets connected to the pipeline that connects in there so you're connected so that's another ref fuel refinery and it's in proximity so that is also good we are pretty much using all of our resources at this point uh, plastic can't really keep up um once it's research complete oh right and money is kind of kind of going the right way what do we just get in research we got this small statue of uselessness then we need a Apparently a furniture factory. I really have worried about taking this because then I'm, I'm worried that they will start requesting that I actually build it. And then we can get the income tax, which is again, more money. Do you see a trend that it's all about the money? And let's also build another one of these just as a preemptive thing here. And just, just making sure that we have it in case we... Oh, oh, oh that's not how I want it. Uh, just in case we need it later on then it's nice that we don't have to wait for the building time but we can actually just hit a production boost on these oops there 
Low number of idle drones. Yeah, we are kind of aware of that because that's all of these things that are... Ooh. Oh, no. I forgot this. I forgot that this needed... I forgot this again. It's what it was. What I wanted to say, and that's unfortunately quite expensive to get up there. Um, I'll get it here. That's really expensive. That's two hundred credits and fifty plastic. Ugh. What? Okay, it also misses a bit. And yeah, that one. Get as short as possible. Well, not quite. But there we have it. Right, so the next thing we want to do is definitely make sure that these get optimized as much as possible. Uh, get those up and running. And our drone hub is not going there yet. Oh, but we have an opportunity to sell stuff. Maybe we can sell some of our, uh, our food. Not really. I would also hope that iron would start accruing, but it doesn't really seem to be accruing very easily. Sponges, sea snails. Yeah, this said 200 sea snails. We, we we can't. We don't need that. There we go. 200 sea snails. Sell. Sweet. That'll be a little bit of money to, to work with. And is this done? Yes, it is. So this will be... Let's see. We are now almost using all of our uh, our crude oil here. So that should... Yeah, okay. The production boost is important, but I can't do that one. Uh, I can... I did that again. I don't want that optimization, do I? Because it just gives us excess crude oil that we can't really use for anything yet. Well, we can get extra production boost sooner or later. So this is good. We get uh, 146, so that means I can buff that one up again. And that gets us to all the plastic we can reasonably support at this point. That is, whoa, how is, which one am I missing? What? Oh, because it's now no longer inside that range. Oh, that sucks. All right, whatever. You, you're just going to have to live with that uh, shortcoming there. Um, the drone, this one is working. I want a production boost. I can't do that. I want an expansion. I can't do that. I want this one to be done, but I can't do that. So all we need to do now is... Ooh, more research. We are going to get that furniture factory in order to get the income tax going. If we look at our directives, we don't have any other directives to do. But the one we're looking for is the engineer tax cost a little bit more and cost two of the points but i think that's uh, worth it because everything is just is this do we have enough to go no do we have enough to go so at this point fisherman's heart let's do the optimization here first there we go and do these two that is less okay oxygen is not really a problem so actually lowering the optimization here is irrelevant because we are getting plenty of that but production boost is good because that's really what we uh, we want in terms of uh, shocking it uh, what about our total number of drones we're fine we can double up this one so now it's 480 shocks for times two that should be a very nice and very nice amount and they'll definitely be helping here this one isn't updated at all the gathering place that will just give us like small fish and stuff like that so stuff we can sell as well which is definitely what we want we can also just look at our uh here how many families do we have we have six families so and we have seven houses oops did we get the insulation on all of them nope hey look at that they're paying money we can't make them pay more money well that's kind of what we're working on in here if we can get that on medium dome. Oh, that's interesting. We can also get that. Um, not that I really need it right now, but engineer tax is definitely the next stuff that we want, aside from all the random upgrades and also getting this one done. But I think this is uh, kind of lagging because of the uh, number of idle drones. It's just waiting for some iron inbound, but hey, dude, build more iron. Why are you not get Oh, okay. We're not consuming iron for anything except like random upgrades, so. There's a few upgrades here and there that will require this. Let's get that. Oh, 1,000 credits. That's amazing. I'll take the 1,000 credits anytime. Oh, look at us. Look at us just spending it everywhere. Oh, there we go. Low number of idle drones and low number of uh, bigger basket. There we go. Uh, basic goods. Now they want the basic goods. Yeah. I mean, now they're complaining about it. But that's kind of what we wanted. I don't know whether dome environment unsatisfactory. No, you're unsatisfactory. That's kind of... It's kind of weird, right? Like, can we look at them and see what that means? Environment is 97. Psh, I mean, 97. This is the this is more the the it, the biggest idiosyncrasies of of this game is by all means the fact that 
it's the end of the world, but I am refusing to do work unless I have fancy clothes and fancy environment. Like, okay. Dude, chill. We'll build that. Let's see how much... What it, oh, we don't even see what it requires. Uh, we'll just uh, take that as it comes. And oh, we got a lot of money, so we can do the income tax. Yay! And then we'll see, figure out what else we want. I think we need to sort of double back and get some... Oh, I think we actually did get like a small planter or something, didn't we? Um, seaweed? What? Let's research small planter. I thought we got some. Let's just have a look. I thought we had something that we had to take. Oh, a small statue. We have a small statue. Uh, that's a small statue. Tools. Yeah, okay. We need some tools for factories for that. Mm. Uh, that's going to take a while. You're just waiting for a worker. That's good. We can go through all of these. That looks good. That looks good. That one. Eh, we can optimize it, but don't really need it as long as we have enough oxygen. That's good. All these are good as well. Yep. And this one could be optimized to use less oil, but that's kind of beside the point. Great. Great, 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 great. That is looking uh, pretty damn uh, damn good at this point. We need the income tax, and now we also get the tools factory. That's going to be absolutely amazing. How much are you going to take? You're currently taking 60 iron, and this one is producing 180. So we still have plenty of this. So no worries. We'll uh, be buffing these up as we can. Uh, that is out of iron again. And these optimizations. So I guess the first tools might actually go in here, not to expansion, but to the production boost of the iron mine. That seems like the most logical thing we can do right now and research we got the engineer tax all right let's have a look we have 5889 and if we start applying taxes 5889 okay so it just gives us 800 more i mean that's something what are you waiting for you are not getting iron uh that's kind of okay but that's understandable maybe do we have some excess drones yes we do uh let's go out and uh, do this thing that we always regret like trying to harvest some stuff out in the world and see if we can get some of those the problem is like you should only be doing once but then i forget about it and then when i finally realize it i go out and get all of them and then i can't build a damn thing in the base there we go no oh my god that's so much all right that is uh that should keep them busy for a little while unfortunately that just means i can't build anything in the meantime look at that we got the first clothing let's uh get in here we can do optimization we can do production boost those are things we can do they will require tools for the next upgrades oh hold on oh whoa whoa uh, two more people sweet uh this can also be upgraded with trade volume and that but that's only when we get the tools and i guess this one is working now because it it's it's not having an indicator so that means it is working and it is yeah it's working I guess. So now we just need to wait for the tools. There are three tools. That is be, that's what is accruing right now. Hopefully it'll increase a little bit uh, as we move forward. Turns out we actually have a dire need for more batteries. Uh, if we look at it, batteries are almost gone. So let's uh, throw down another battery build here and uh, get that hooked up. That is important. And that goes here. Good. And this one as well. Can we do optimization? Oh, that's going to take tools. So don't think I want to do that uh, just yet. But we're producing 500. But up here we can see we are using way more than that. So uh, let's uh, look at our optimization. Optimization, this requires more iron for the tool factory. Uh, I think that's nice to get more iron. But what I really want is this tools thing. Uh, so I guess we'll do that. That'll take lower the requirement of iron, and iron seems to be our shortcoming here. At this point, we can't do any new build because we're out there harvesting things with our seven drones and uh, lots of people. What I want to do now is double back and find stuff that we haven't done. Um, oh, look at that. And then uh, see if there's something we haven't done, like raw food budgeting. That is amazing. Global improvement to reduce the consumption of food. See. Just, I have to look for this one. Research, research. And if it says a day number, then uh, then it's not research. Transport fever, that's faster. Decorative plant, we'll get a decorative plant as well. Shrine, maybe. And then an immigration incentive. Uh, street lamps. I think we'll need to sort of double back and take some of, of these ones so we can do some beautification before proceeding. We have the stuff that we were sort of really pushing for. Maybe energy budgeting would be nice as well. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, Oh, the iron mine. We can do the production boost of the iron mine. That's amazing. I want to do that. Oh, no. What happened? Uh, pipeline is leaking. Ah, oh, never mind. That's so weird. 
A fuel refinery is on here. Everything else looks pretty good. Is there something we have a lot of? Not really a lot of. And we also, for some reason, we have a lot of uh, a lot of money right now. So we just got the raw food budgeting. And at this point, I want to get some energy production. Oh, wow. That's, that's a good one. That's way better than a decorative plant. Why would I want a decorative plant? I don't know. But we'll get energy production uh, optimization here. Did we get anything in, in this one that we could use? A decoration? Oh, yeah, look at that. A useless statue. Oh, no, no, no. The statues require tools. Oh, they require tools, both of them. Damn, I don't want to waste my precious tools on this. They can just live with, it, live with their environmental points. Boo. Boo, minus 16 environmental points. I will, I will happily live with that for just a little while longer. This one, on the other hand, I cannot live with this not being... Oh, sh shoot, I just burst through some tools here. Um, what are you going to do? You're going to take more power. That's not a problem. And more plastic. That shouldn't be a problem either. We are using a lot of plastic now. but uh, And this optimization is requiring tools. So now we're getting to the point where we are producing a little bit of tools. And they are... You can... S okay, production boost we can do now. There. I'm pretty sure this is what our main objective. We want to buff up our iron and our tools factory so we just have a constant accrual of tools for upgrades that was another upgrade completed that was the energy production then i guess the decorative lamp uh, decorative plant i guess that's something we want or maybe a shrine we just don't don't want to use tools for decoration that's just not going to happen and that is way too expensive for for what we want we got the tools, tools for the for the trade, and what are we? What is holding us up? Let's have a look at all the stuff out here. Yeah, they are, they've consumed quite a bit of it actually. And okay, we have one that we haven't tapped yet, but aside from this, they are there, and this one is still not. Oh, it's still being worked on, so that's good. They are working on it, so we can soon start working on building more stuff again. Even though, honestly, I don't think that there's a lot of things that we want to or need to build like right now to uh, to get us going. What? I do think, though, is this one. If I expand it, what is that? No, no, no. We're going to be doing these uh, upgrades first. And that was optimization. Optimization is... What did that just do? Upkeep. Upkeep, that's less money, less power, and less... Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we do the optimization, the production boost here. Uh, we want to see... I would imagine that the consumption is one per resident per month. And... That means we need to scale towards that. Hold on, how many families? We have eight families now. Good. So we need to get another... Well, we can't do production boost because, well, lack of tools. But we can do expansion here. That might be just the thing we want. Uh, that will... Let's have a look here. We have nine drones. We're actually catching up on drones. We might actually be in a point where we can have that. Okay, and... We got a decorative plant of uselessness. We can get a street lamp of even more uselessness. Or we can get a shrine. Let's go into this one and get the... What is it? Decorative plant? I don't know. Decorative plant. It needs seaweed. How do we not have seaweed? Isn't like only once a year that we get seaweed? I don't know. This one can be... What are we going to sell? We should sell the stuff we have most of. Oh, we've been collecting a lot of that. Let's uh, sell some cucumbers here. Minus 200. We also need this to be upgraded. And trade volume, you can do that upgrade. Speed is also tools. Those are pretty good upgrades uh, that we can, we can get. But first and foremost, we need to figure out what... Why we do not have seaweed? Oh, seaweed, that's because that's uh, being farmed. The seaweed has to be farmed. So we're going to have to rely on the shrine for uh, for our decoration. And then after the shrine, we get the... Did we get the street lamp? I can't remember if we got the street lamp. No, not really. We got that research street lamp. So we'll get research room. But we'll. I think we can put a little shrine in here. And everyone's going to be happy. Because they can have their religious needs taken care of. Uh, where is that? That is in a not a fast food. It is a shrine. Research complete. There we go. Uh, it just, just takes a little bit of stone. So that's fine. We can throw you in here. There we go. We can actually... It doesn't have a proximity. So we'll just so. How much? I don't know how that... That doesn't seem... Dome environment unsatisfactory. No, you are unsatisfactory. Damn it. All right, we might have to do these things. Plus 16. Is it better now? Environment point zero. Okay, that was worth it. We'll just throw in a little random bench here. That's also plus 16. Good. All right, this has no upkeep. This, uh... Actually, I cannot imagine a world where we'd need... Where we, uh, would need... To have two of these. There we go. So remove one. Good. 
it's it's uh, now environmentally sound and i can do an expansion i guess oof that's expensive i do not like but i guess that's uh, but we now will definitely have enough uh, basic goods ah, once it gets going production boost on oxygen generator production boost on these to make sure that we are good and also continue researching look at us and our money look at our money it actually looks like we are uh, we're getting to a point where we are actually uh, it, it's making sense we are in a good position then we have a lot of research out here the hardest part is just remembering to keep going on the research now at this point everything is positive it's all good and uh, we are making a fair bit of uh, money maybe it's also time for us to just scale down on the speed here uh, this is tools this is tools yeah sure why not oh because i don't have a lot of tools because i wanted to save the tools for making more tools ah yeah i forgot that uh, optimization isn't really going to help us much but that one we can't do so it is really the expansion that i want up on the tools factory and with enough idle drones oof, we might even be in a point where i want to disable some drones or actually more likely figure out if we can get another plastic factory because uh, at this point hey why not this is uh, this is where we get to the scaling part of, uh, of of these kind of games uh is that one two three there we go the scaling part where you, you start having enough and you're not sort of sitting and waiting, but you're thinking, all right, cool. How do I scale this up even further and even faster uh, to, to get new tech? But we can also then, I feel that we, we've reached a really good point in uh, for this uh, this part. We have gotten up here, we can start getting the medium drones and then we can get, start getting into sort of some new things like expedition houses. That's completely opening up a new uh, way of uh, playing where you can send their stuff out we can do cages where we can farm tunas and stuff like that so uh, and then solar plant is just a weird thing to have under at the bottom of the sea but you know that's uh, that's not my first choice of uh, of what how i would generate power probably something like geothermal would be uh, would be a little more logical but hey uh, if you want to get some sunlight down here then i guess that's how we are going to do it uh, we need the tools to accrue i guess it's also like option to uh, to get uh, to buy stuff as well but I don't feel that's what I want to do right now okay that oh it's just a pipeline leaking never mind just click and then it's all good cool last research to unlock at this point what should that be um steel world combo that gives us the tool factory in proximity to an iron mine get 10% production boost I like 10% 10% is not nothing because this is the one that really needs to get going. Are we starting to accrue iron? Yes, we are. And what we're going to do now is we are going to wrap this episode up because it is running at about the length that I wanted to uh, to run it. And then let's zoom on down here if we can. Uh, no, that's not how it works. And there we go. That is looking good, I think. There we go. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, you know the drill. Hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel as we are going to do more of these uh, colony builders, city builders, uh, factory games, of course, if they are around. And when we get something we like, we are going to be stick with it, sticking with it or we're just going to do a showcase of, uh, of a game as it comes out and uh, if it looks interesting. So thank you all for joining. Thank you for supporting. And of course, particularly thanks to the people supporting me on Patreon. Uh, that is the way that I can keep doing this without sort of jumping into sponsorships and ad integration so that without you it would be impossible to run the channel the way i do thank you very much until next time take care and stay effective <laughs>